friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how I print and cut my photos for my memory planner. So I posted a video a few weeks ago, I will link it above, that shows my entire like process of setting up like my memory planner and whatnot. And in it, I print off my own photos on sticker paper and cut it out, and then I put them in the books. And you guys definitely wanted to see my entire process and how I'm, I do that. So that is what this video is for. I'm going to walk you step by step through Silhouette, how I bring in my photos, how I put the cut lines around it, how I print them off, how I cut them, and then how they end up in my memory book. So stay tuned because it's coming your way right now. So the first thing you're gonna do, obviously, is open your Silhouette Studio. I use version 3.6, so yours might look a little bit different from mine, but relatively everything is gonna be the same. So you're gonna go to this registration marks button up over here and turn on your registration marks so you'll be able to cut your stickers. Then you're gonna open whatever folder your photos are in. We recently went kayaking, so I'm going to use these hacking photos they're gonna come in huge so just zoom out and just move them around so you can add in the photos you want to use we will shrink them down so that they uh, obviously work with the cutting and the stickers so I'm gonna do these three photos and then I'm just going to highlight them all and shrink them down so that they're easier to work with. And then we're just gonna zoom back in. I'm currently holding down the Alt button and using the roller on my mouse to zoom in. So the next thing we're gonna do is make our cutting lines. So this is where you go over to this rectangle and draw whatever size rectangle just to get started. You're gonna highlight that rectangle and head over to this button. It's the scale window. So down here is where you're gonna put your measurements that you want to cut your photo stickers for. So I like to do two by three, and I'm gonna unlock the aspect ratio so I can adjust them to what I'd like. And that creates the same size that if you had a Polaroid zip or one of those printers, this is the size of the stickers that come out of those printers. But if you want them to fit into like your Erin Condren boxes, that would be 1.5 by 1.9. So just depending on what you wanna do with your photos, once you print and cut them, determines what size you are going to make them. So I'm just gonna keep mine at the larger size. So next I'm going to drag a photo over and adjust how wide it is. So this is a horizontal photo. So if I want the box to look like that, or I can also rotate it to get more of the photo into the cut lines. So just keep adjusting to whatever size you need and whatever you want to include in your photos. So I'm gonna move this up over out of the way, but make sure that I'm not getting too close to the registration marks or I will have issues in the next step. So I'm going to rotate this photo, drag this one over, and then I'm going to highlight the cut line that I already have, hold down the Alt button and drag to create the same size text or the same size cut box. And then just keep adjusting This one could also be a vertical one, but I think I prefer it as a horizontal. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. You can also do uh, a copy, a right-click copy, right-click paste if you want to do it that way as well. But I find just holding down Alt and dragging is the fastest way. So we're just gonna shrink this last photo. So this works obviously with like other shapes as well. If you want to do like a circle shape, you can draw that cut line and have a circle photo depending on where you want to put them. But I find that I prefer using the sticker paper and doing this method over my Polaroid zip. I barely use it anymore and I just print on um, my sticker paper and use it this way. So I don't like to waste papers, so I'll usually figure out something to put down here as well. So I'm gonna quickly find some photos and add some things down here so that I am using up the 
paper to the best of its ability. So now that I've added all of my photos in, I'm going to print my paper. And this really depends on the type of sticker paper and the printer that you have. I always print on the highest quality setting and on matte presentation paper since the paper I'm using is matte, but just use whatever settings work best for you when you print on sticker paper in the past or try a couple of different print settings and print them off and see which one you like best. So I'm going to print this and then get to cutting. Excuse all of the printer noises, but we are down in the cutting studio. This is where I obviously cut all my stickers. So this is how I set my blades as well as my uh, speed and thickness for my stickers. I adjust the blade depending on whether or not it works. I adjust the actual blade and not this like ratchet blade um, number. I just adjust the blade itself. Usually I have it around a seven or an eight for my matte paper and then I am all set to cut my stickers. So in order to get to the cut settings, you click on this little guy, and then you head over to the send to silhouette button. And if you have multiple silhouettes like I do, you gotta look for whichever one you want to cut to, and then hit start. So this is how it printed and how the photos turned out, and then I'm just going to load it into my machine. So now I can just peel off the stickers and put them wherever I want. So there you guys go. It's super simple if you have your own silhouette cameo or portrait to print and cut your own photos so you don't have to spend a lot of money on like a Polaroid zip or getting them developed. And then they're already stickers. It's super awesome. So let me know what you thought of this video. Do you want to see more tutorials? of how to use a silhouette. Let me know that in the comments. Is there anything else you want to see with my memory planner? Just let me know what you guys thought of this video. It's something a little bit different for me. So I am curious to see what you guys thought of it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe so you see my next videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.